Hello students, how are you? Hope all of you are doing well. I am Dr. Smuthi Rekha and I welcome you all to e-tuition, education for better tomorrow. It's a digital learning platform for ODR and English medium students which is developed in Odisha. If you believe in quality education, then you are in the right portal. As in e-tuition, we provide quality education which will definitely help you to build your career. Then what are you waiting for? Please download the app and enroll yourself so that you will avail all the facilities at your fingertips. So without wasting much time, let us start today's class. As you can see, already we have started chapter 2 of your class 10 NCERT book that is polynomial and we are in the part 3 of the polynomial. So from this you can understand that from polynomial chapter also we have discussed some of the concept. If you have missed the previous videos, don't worry. I have given the link of all the videos related to class 10 in the description section. So if you click on that link, you will get all the videos together. So please watch all of them. So let us start today's class then. So before solving problems from exercise 2, I thought let me remind you what we have discussed in the previous class. If you remember, in the previous class, we have discussed the relationship between the zeros of the quadratic polynomial and its coefficient. So, if the quadratic polynomial is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial, then alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and alpha into beta is equal to c by a, where minus b is nothing but minus of coefficient of your x term and a is the coefficient of your x square term, c is the constant. So, sum of zeros is equal to alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a that is minus of coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square and the product of zeros that is alpha into beta is equal to c by a that is constant term divided by coefficient of x square. Hope you have remembered this formula. So if you remember I have discussed this also. This is the relationship between the zeros of cubic polynomial and the coefficient of it. How do you represent the cubic polynomial ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus t is equal to 0. So this is the relationship of zeros of cubic polynomial. So alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a. Alpha into beta into gamma is equal to minus t by a. Although this formula is not uh, related to your syllabus, thus uh, for your information I have just uh, put it in the slide to increase your knowledge. Okay children. So let us start solving the problems from exercise 2.2. Okay, so so this uh, this is the first bit of your question number one of exercise 2.2. So find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomial and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient. So how we will do it? So first we will factorize it by using our splitting middle term method. So I will just do like this minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. Take x common you will get x minus 4 and here also you take 2 common you will get x minus 4 that is x minus 4 into x plus 2. So the zeros of the polynomial are so the zeros are 4 and minus 2. Okay, so you have got the zeros now. Now you have to verify the relationship. So before verifying, let me write in this form. So here alpha is equal to 4, beta is equal to minus 2, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2, c is equal to minus 8. So what is alpha plus beta here? Alpha plus beta is equal to 4 minus 2 that is 2. So what about your 
minus b divided by a. Minus b divided by a is nothing but minus of minus 2 divided by 1 that is 2. Both the answers are correct, right? So, you, your first relation say that is sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a. It is verified. Correct or not? Now, let us find out the product. Product is 4 into minus 2. What is the answer? Answer is minus 8. Then find out c by a. Then c by a is equal to minus 8 divided by 1. That is minus 8 only. Correct? So both the answers are same or not? So the relationship that is product of the zeros is equal to c by a is also verified. Okay children? So this is how you will find out the solution to this particular problem. Only thing you will be confused is to find out the coefficient. So that you just uh, analyze the equation properly and write A, B, C. Then everything will be easy for you. Okay. So shall we go to the next problem then? That is 6x square minus 3 minus 7. So 6x square minus 3 minus 7. So let us rearrange that 6x square minus 7x minus 3. So that I can write it as 6x square minus 9x plus 2x minus 3. Right. So that is equal to take 3x common you will get 2x minus 3 plus 1 common you will get 2x minus 3. So your answer is 3x plus 1 into 2x minus 3. Hence the zeros are hence the zeros are how to find out? Hope you know how to find out the zeros. So the zeros are minus 1 by 3 and 3 by 2. Do you know how, how I am finding out? So let me show here. So 3 is plus 1 is equal to 0. It implies x equal to minus 1 by 3. I expect that you know this. So, I, I was not writing. But for your information, I am just so uh, writing it so that uh, you will do it correctly. Okay. So, this you will be knowing. I know. Okay. So, x is equal to. So, these are the zeros we have found out. Now, let us find out the relationship that is alpha plus beta. So, alpha plus beta is equal to minus 1 by 3 and 3 by 2. So, minus 1 by 3 plus 3 by 2. So, 6 is the denominator. So, you got here. So, here you will get minus 2 plus 9 and the answer is 7 by 6. What about your minus b divided by minus b divided by a? So, that is, so we have not written, right? So, let us write down. So, here a is equal to 6, b is equal to minus 7 and c is equal to minus 3. Okay. So, minus b, minus of minus b. So, minus of minus 7 divided by 6. So, answer is 7 divided by 6. Okay. So, this value and this value is same. So, alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. So, this relationship is very fine. Now, let us find out the product then. Alpha into beta. So, minus 1 by 3 into 3 by 2. What is the answer? Minus 1 by 2. Now, let us find out C by A then. C by A is equal to C ka value kitna hai? Minus 3. So, minus 3 divided by 6. What is the answer? Minus 1 divided by 2. This value and this value are same, right? So, alpha into beta is equal to C by A. So, this value is very fine. Correct or not? Okay. Now, let us go to the next problem. Okay. So, t square minus 15. It looks like a square minus b square. Right. So, t square minus 15. So, that is equal to t square minus root 15 whole square. Can I write like that? So, then if you factorize, it will be 8 plus root 15 into 8 minus root 15. So, the zeros are, so the zeros are, are plus or minus root 15. So now your alpha is root 15, beta is minus root 15, a 
is 1, B is 0, C is minus 15. Correct? Now, alpha plus beta. What's the answer? It is plus root 15 minus root 15 is equal to 0. Now, you find out B by A that is 0 by 1 is equal to 0. Hence, the relationship that is alpha plus beta is equal to minus B by A is verified, is verified. Now, alpha into beta. Let us find out. Root 15 into minus root 15. What is the answer? Answer is minus 15, right? Then what is the value C by A? It is minus 15 divided by 1, that is minus 15. So, this value and this value are the same. So, the relationship between the product of the 0 and its coefficient is verified. Correct or not? Okay. So, I have done bit 1, bit 3 and bit 5. So, the remaining 3 bit you have to do on your own. In case of any doubt, please ask your doubt in the comment section. Shall we go to the next section of your exercise 2.2? Okay. So, if this is question number 2. B1 I am going to do for you. That is, find a quadratic polynomial each with the given number as the sum and the product of its zero respectively. So, ye problem mein kya diya gaya hai? Ye problem mein kya diya gaya hai? Alpha plus beta is equal to root 2 diya gaya hai. Alpha into beta is equal to 1 by 3 diya gaya hai. Aap log ko pata hai? How to do it then? Always remember, if this is the this kind of problem will come, your quadratic equation will be of the form x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. So this will be your polynomial. Okay. So then what will be the polynomial in this case? So this case it will be x square minus root 2 x plus 1 by 3. Okay. So, this will be the polynomial. So, now let us just, so I can write 0 over here. So, I can write 3 x square minus 3 root 2 x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is your required quadratic polynomial. Okay, children. So, shall we go to the next problem then? Okay. So, it is 1 and 1. So, here your alpha plus beta is equal to 1. Alpha into beta is also 1. So, what is the form? Just now I told it is x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta is equal to 0. So, what I will write then? x square minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Correct? So, now let us go to the next problem. Here, alpha plus beta is equal to 4. Alpha into beta is equal to 1. So, what will be the equation then? Polynomial then? x square minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, children? Okay. So, I hope you have understood how to do it. So, please solve rest other problem on your own and if in case of a doubt please come back to me because practice makes a man perfect if you do more and more number of problems you will be more clear your concept will be more clear okay children thank you for your patient hearing and take care of yourself and please download the app and follow us in youtube instagram and twitter download the app and enroll yourself Keep smiling.